interested in learning Blender, preview my Udemy courses in the description below and get ahead of the curve fast. No matter what interests you, you'll find your perfect match. If this is your first time with Blender, the splash screen offers initial settings that can be later revised in user preferences. Here you can set the user interface language, opt for keyboard shortcuts from the previous Blender 2.7 or choose industry compatible shortcuts akin to software like Maya or Max. Your selection preferences for your mouse, either left or right, can be set. It's worth noting that releases prior to Blender 2.6 defaulted to right select, but left select is generally the standard. The spacebar is mapped to play and pause functionality. The theme of the Blender interface can also be adjusted here. For instance, a preset like the Blender Dark Team is a viable choice. All these user settings can be modified at any time in user preferences and we'll be looking at these in subsequent videos. We can click Next which reveals the splash screen that greets users upon launching Blender. This interface allows you to select the file type you wish to work with. General will be employed in this instance and serves as the default setting. The splash screen also grants quick access to Blender's official manual or if you want to support Blender's development you can do that with the link provided. To immerse yourself into Blender's working environment we can click into the scene. Interested in learning Blender? Preview my Udemy courses in the description below and get ahead of the curve fast. No matter what interests you, you'll find your perfect match.